Yeah, we've woken up to a glorious morning. Um, we're just packing to get ready to go. It's been very, very windy. We've managed to um, get some new biker friends <laughs> who are coming with us as we've been here a day. Here's the baby ready to go. Kim's just in there tidying and cleaning. Hi dear, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, oh nice. Good job, good job. He never does it, yes, I was helping you a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> helping me do what I don't know, but anyway. <laughs> Just charging the helmets, ready to go. And then final packing and we're off. I'm so lucky with the weather today. Yeah, beautiful weather. Awesome. And I'm going to sit down and watch the rest of Mission Impossible while Kim does her chores. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you finished all your lady chores, Kim? Yeah. I, I, I don't know why I said female chores. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> You've just been conditioned. I should have just said doing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Finish your lady chores. <laughs> Bloody stupid. <laughs> uh, you're funny. But I was actually like saying it tongue in cheek, like, you know. I know you were trying to be funny and it backfired on you. Here's the woman in the kitchen doing the dishes. <laughs> while you were basically watching um, Mission Impossible and doing nothing. I was like, yeah, yeah, finish your lady chores. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going into Hamna because we wanted to show you a bit of Hamna Springs. It is really pretty, it's a lovely little town. I love all these trees here. It's yeah, amazing. these big English oaks. Yeah, we just don't get that in Wanaka. It's no, no. Beautiful. Somebody at some point in the past has just planted a whole heap of English oaks here and it looks awesome. Oh, but good, it, good move. It would have been an English person, I bet you. We're going to go and get a coffee. There's something... Um, there's the, the thermal pools. Do you want to look over there, babe, and get the thermal pools in your yeah. shop? Yeah. So it's, it's absolutely massive. If you ever come to Hamner Springs, you must go to the pools because it's yeah. huge. And there's, oh, there's like 20 or more pools, would you say? It's absolutely I'm going to go huge. left here. Yeah, and there's loads of pools and it's lovely and it's really... It's like landscape with huge big boulders and um, there's some super duper hot pools in there, like 42 degrees if you like it really hot. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh, it's just fantastic just to cruise around in there for the day, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Loved it, absolutely loved it. It's so relaxing. It makes you sleep really well, doesn't it? Still yeah, good. and they're flipping hot, hot pools yeah. as well. They're lovely and warm. They're not cold hot pools. <laughs> yeah, now, is this really place great. open? Yeah, it is. Awesome coffee time. They do awesome coffee here. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, sorry, got my foot stuck. Grief. You don't want to kick the bike as much as possible as you get off it. Yeah, I'm wrecking that seat, hey? You've got your little hidey things sticking out the back of your helmet. Have I? Look, yeah, look like a Sonic the Hedgehog or something. See my little power power pigtail. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go and have coffee. <laughs> have you got your wallet? Yep. You're all sweet, babe. Right, we're off again. Calvin's in front, leading the way. And in front of Calvin, we've got uh, Malcolm. And in front of Malcolm, we've got Jenna Russ. And we're off again. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, it's so nice to get a bit of air going. I'm spoiling. Yeah, we've we've de we've stripped down a little bit because it's just so freaking hot, which is really great. Hot. It's lovely. But um, it's actually only 18 degrees, it's supposed to get up to about 24, 25, even tw I think 27, somebody said, but we'll oh, see. Wow. We'll see. Uh, as we get further up north, it gets hotter. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it's going to be, oh gosh, it's like this up um, in Camplock, it's going to be absolutely, probably, yeah, I'm going to swim and everything. For those of you who don't know, I've, I'm three months off the cigarettes after about 27 years of smoking thousands of rollies. Hey, so he's done amazing this time. He hasn't actually had one for three months. 
Now I haven't touched one for three months and I do miss it, but I also feel incredibly healthy and... Yeah, that guy at the cafe that was having a bag and I was just about... Yeah, we were both like... Eh, eh. Exactly, and I was just like... Oh, he's going to want one now. Yeah, he's going to want one now. I kind of, in the back of my mind, want one, but I know that if I was to have one, it would be just horrible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, why put yourself through that, yeah? Yeah. Oh dear, Ralph's getting blown around by that uh, wind there, look. I wonder if he realises he's left his indicator oh, on. No. <laughs> <laughs> I might overtake him and tell him, actually, he's obviously not, he probably can't see it. I think all the guys are getting itchy feet. Yeah, um, we're all getting itchy feet to get back on the bikes, that's for Calvin's sure. Like, right, time to go. Yeah, <laughs> Calvin's like up first thing in the morning, fully bike gear on, ready to go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Good on he him. Loves it, he loves it, yeah. That, we all love it, it's brilliant. Another cop car. Yes, yeah, the cop car. Yeah. yeah. I gave him a wave. He'd probably turn around and give me a ticket, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> yeah, I always nod at ambulances or wave at ambulances, and I usually wave at police as well. Yeah. You know, their jobs to keep everybody safe on the road. I don't um, have a problem with police. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah. So they need to watch those tourists that are driving on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They do a good job. I always had very good experiences with uh, British police, you know, if you're on your bike and you were going a bit too rapidly, they'd often just say, hey, you know, chill out. But here, they don't do that here, they'll, they'll just give you an $80 ticket. Well, I think they'll do it with a smile on their face, you know, <laughs> they'll be nice about it, but... I think most of the police in England have most bikes anyway, so they I are, think they do, the they big quite, bike culture, yeah. They have quite a good um, relationship with the, or come running with the uh, bikes. Yeah, I think you're right. Wow, it's really windy. It's so windy. Yeah. Oh, we're up pretty high here. Quite spectacular though. It's lovely, what a road. I don't think I've ever been on this oh, road before. No, I don't think I've yeah. been on this road. When we did that trip with your mum and dad, we came down the coast road to see Kaikoura. Oh, sadly, no longer there. Yeah, that's a real shame that road's gone because it is just brilliant, oh, spectacular road. You, can, you know, you can stop and look at the seals or the whales or the dolphins, and, and what's now that sad? road's gone. What's quite sad is, remember the little seal park? Yeah, yeah. Up and they had the waterfall and the natural pole there and the, the little seal cuts had to go from the sea, from the shore up the river to this little natural pole and it was a, like a little seal nursery and then the mum used to bring up the fish. And it was quite day. a way up into the forest, it was wasn't up, it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they used to, they used to worm their way up there. And worm would, their way up, yeah. Wriggle their way up. They had to wiggle, wiggle their way up there. And um, the mum sort come back every couple of times a day and feed them. And yeah, they'd leave the, the pups there, wouldn't they? No, they'd all just be splashing and playing and learning how to swim and in the, yeah. the pool. But it's all normal. Yeah, big landslide filled the oh. pool. Yeah. Disgusting. And they absolutely awful. Yeah. Yeah, they're all just playing and having fun and they're all just playing and having fun. 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 And they it was interesting yesterday just seeing all the military, all the, sorry, the one military helicopter that New Zealand has going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Yeah, I think there's more than one, though. I'm pretty sure there's one, but... <laughs> there's more than one. <laughs> um, the Navy and the Army were there. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, we were sitting there having dinner last night and um, we got, there was... I don't know if any of you saw it, but there was a number five um, aftershock, which um, was quite scary. We were all just sitting down and the whole place started swaying side to side. It was the weirdest feeling. And we're all like, uh-oh. And yeah, sure enough, it was a number five in um, Kaikoura again. One of the uh, big, bigger aftershocks. <laughs> number five. <laughs> 
Yeah, it was weird. Um, I didn't, I don't, I didn't feel it, but they all did. Oh God! Change of sensation. I was too busy doing my pasta. Yeah. I was concentrating too hard. Now this is cool. Look. Oh, you've got to love New Zealand. It is just absolutely spectacular. Look at this open, empty road. Get out on your motorbike. Beautiful scenery. Blonde on the back seat. Can't go wrong. <laughs> that's right. Don't you forget it. Oh, that's a 55, sorry. Holy crap. I was, uh, that's all right. You've got to double the speed on them corners. No, you don't. Look at that gorge through there. <laughs> so this yellow stuff up in front of us here is gorse brought over by yes thank you brought over by the English I don't know why they brought it over but um, it it just it is an absolute pest and it just grows like crazy and they just can't get rid of it. They can't kill it. Well, so. the English brought it over to, for their hedges. Really? Uh, but yeah, but they didn't realise that in New Zealand everything grows like nobody else's business and it just got out of control. So and it's then, just everywhere, isn't it? It's just now taken over the whole country. Yeah. Bloody English. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty. You have to kind of pinch it now, babe. Yeah. Quite nice. Oh, how nice is Arthur's Park going to be? That's what I'm looking for. How nice is what? Arthur's Park. Oh, Arthur's Pass is going to be amazing, all right. Can't wait. So, so far, we've had great success using the Mobile Light G3, which is the, the little box that transfers my data from the GoPro to a hard drive. Now, I haven't bought a laptop, so I've, it allows you to use your mobile phone to, to view what you've recorded for the day. And it's just blooming brilliant. I mean, your mobile phone nowadays is just about as powerful as a, a pretty average laptop. Uh, so it can, makes just so much sense to use the mobile phone instead of a laptop and so far it's worked great so I'm hoping that we have plenty of footage to share with you guys when we get back just hope it doesn't end up being too boring <laughs> yeah I think um, you've done really well to figure all that out yeah well, you're, yeah you're coming through with a lot of wind noise every time you speak and I'm, I'm having difficulty holding my head onto my shoulders and those parts where you come across those um, unprotected. Well, it's getting up under your helmet then. That's what, the, the wind's getting up under your helmet. Which yeah, it is. Yeah. Maybe I need to up the visor on the front because obviously you're copping a lot of wind. Oh, no, I think I just put through my neck cap and pull it up. Yeah, but I can move this whole thing up. Oh, right. Yeah, but it takes away from... Um, no, I can move that up a, 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 you know, a good 50 or 60 millimetres, no problem at all, it won't affect the video. Oh yeah, okay. Well, yeah. Because it's obviously not throwing the wind up over your head. In fact, that's probably half the problem. I'll probably, I'll just try and tack down a bit. Oh. Yeah, that's not going to be Next stop, we'll give it a go, eh? See if it makes a difference. Look at this, I've, I've never been down this road before. This is beautiful, isn't it? It's like, it's like the Wild West. Let's overtake Russ and Jen, eh? See if we can squeeze through here, babe. You might need to breathe in a bit. Oh, 
We'll follow Russ and Jen. So oh. Murchison's only 85 Ks. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. And then we head up to Havelock from there, eh? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, so the, the, the bit from Murchison to Nelson is very, very pretty. And you get to see a bit of the Golden Bay. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. I but it's, it's not actually, it isn't Golden Bay, is it? Go oh, so, um, Golden Bay's further. Oh, I put the screen up further. Has that made a difference? Oh, that's, yeah, that's, I can't notice that. Yeah, well, I've got no wind interference at all in my face. In fact, I can put my helmet up. I've got no wind. You can still see okay? I've got no horrible wind noise coming from you now at all. Oh, brilliant. You know, it's going up over me. Ah, well, that's good to know, isn't it? Thank you. So it's hitting me straight in the net. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go for folks that are watching the Puge or Puggy or Puig uh, screen. Put it up a bit and it covers both of us. That's the first time we've put it up like that. That's just a huge difference. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's very cool. We've been travelling now for a good oh, hour and a half um, since we switched the GoPro off and it's been pretty cold and wet actually <laughs> started off so dry and it's been cold and grey and I think we're coming back into some blue sky it's, yeah it's definitely warming up it's back up to 15 degrees it was down to seven a minute ago that well when I say a minute ago about an hour and a half ago when we were up on the Lewis Pass but the roads are a little bit damp so it's not quite super pleasurable riding but it's still pretty good but yeah it's very pretty we're coming into Murchison any minute we've never actually been here before so it should be interesting yeah, we've never traveled this road before. I've never done this road it's almost like a sort of very English looking road to be honest They're really nice trees about yeah Oh, nice to get a bit of footage of Russ and Jen up in front. Yeah. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Russ will be assessing his riding skills. <laughs> he's obviously been riding all his life. He's very, very confident, isn't he? Oh, he's very confident. I think once we get to Murchison, babe, we'll um, switch the GoPro off and work out how to put some music on, shall we?
where did we come from? Are we alone in the universe? There under life in the universe. Okay, we're walking down into Havelock, <laughs> into the town, and. Uh, oh, is there a disco going on in there? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So this is the Hav, the club. Can you hear me? Yeah, they're queuing up to get into the disco tech. Oh yeah, it's kicking off tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 